Humanists are people who don't believe that there is a God or life after death, but they do believe that it is possible to live good lives without a religion telling them how to do it. Kathy was a humanist. Humanists make their decisions based on science, kindness, a concern for all human beings, and the belief we only get one life. This combination of attitudes is called humanism. Knowing her life would soon end, Kathy began planning her humanist funeral and agreed to discuss it on camera at her home in Wales. I'm Catherine Ellen Hawkesby Weston, now Catherine Simons. I love the name. Although I didn't like being a Welsh girl because I couldn't say anything in Welsh and I like to talk. I've been living here now, I would say 61 years. Um, and I couldn't imagine living anywhere else. My mother reckoned she was a good Christian um, Methodist. I had to go to Sunday school every week, whether I wanted to or not, and I couldn't have cared less. I really didn't want to be there. I'd like to believe there was something, but I don't think we ever come back. And I don't think I would like to come back, actually. And as long as I'm buried in the garden, I don't care. <laughs> Kathy died on May 24th, 2022. Her funeral took place at a chapel a month later. Kathy wanted a humanist funeral, which can look very much like a religious funeral, but there are no prayers and no mention of God or a life after death. It's a celebration of someone's life and the contribution they've made to the world. It's a way for friends and family to say goodbye, and the ceremony can take many forms. Welcome everybody. We gathered here today to pay tribute to the life of Kathy Ellen Simmons. Along the way, with every experience and every action, every reaction, with every single thought and emotion, we develop qualities that make us both memorable and unique. And it is that uniqueness, that separateness from others, which is the source of sorrow and bereavement. For if we search the whole world over, we won't find another quite like Kathy. Her actions and her beliefs reflected the very best of being human, and from our conversations, I've distilled just a few of her thoughts. And it's in keeping with Kathy's very clearly expressed wishes, her funeral will not be religious. For those I have not met, my name is Simon Dinwiddie. I'm a celebrant with Humanists UK, and I had the privilege of meeting Kathy for the first time in 2020. Now, being a very pragmatic woman, she wanted to discuss a plan for her own funeral ceremony. That was the first of several meetings, both in person and by telephone, for I'm sure you can all appreciate Kathy had quite a tale to share. I realised that religion wasn't really my thing. I wasn't interested in it, and I thought it was more important to be kind to people and just help them if I could. I wanted to be a nurse always wanted I never had a doll that was healthy they were always sick I went for an interview there you are he said you've passed what do you want to go in army navy or air force I didn't know they had them in the army uh, in the navy and the air force so I said I want to be an army nurse I could see the uniform you know so he said well you're in you're going in a fortnight oh, oh my god what am I going to do um and the very first day I was wearing my uniform and I thought I was chocolate. Oh, oh I've got the hat on, right? Um, I went down to Cambridge Military Hospital and there was a brick parade square in front of us and the cookhouse down there. And here's this six foot three uh, boy with red hair in uniform marching up and down. And I said, hey, look at that to my mate. He's nice and he is and he's got red hair. I'm going to marry him one day. She said, you are off your head. I said, we'll see, we'll see. And three years later, I did. I think he was more of a believer than me, but it didn't matter that much. You know, it wasn't his life. He passed away and I can feel his goodness and I want to, I want to capture that. Kathy loves to hear Terry sing. His wonderful voice serenaded her with renditions from Mario Lanza. So let us take a few seconds, or a few moments, while we listen to Ave Maria. Listening to him sing, oh God, it made the world 
go round, you know. It's, it was something special. It was just him and I, and it was just wonderful. I've never felt like that with anybody else. I would love people to play this music at my funeral. It meant so much for me. Um, I was jealous because I couldn't sing, but oh boy, did I enjoy listening to him singing. So I had the opportunity to introduce her to two filmmakers. They've been making various films about various belief systems, and back in October 21, Kathy very kindly agreed to talk to them on camera about her life and humanism. She was sharing memories from a long and adventurous life, including her career and that amazing bucket list of spitfires, snakes, and driving a blood-red Ferrari. Now, Kathy loved the idea of sharing a few select clips from her interview with you today. So we should listen to a little bit more of her story. I think the first time I heard about humanism, I met this lady through another friend and I went to see her. She, and I think, I can't be accurate about this, she was a humanist. But she opened my eyes and I felt hang on, that's a little bit the way I feel. Being a humanist makes me feel good, worthwhile, useful and kind. I think it made me feel more sensitive to other people's needs, not just mine, but other people have feelings and perhaps you can help them in one way or another. I only wanted boys, and I only wanted ginger-haired boys for sauce. And um, it, it was really funny, actually, because I started having treatment in London, and they were determined to get me pregnant, and he failed. Um, and that, I suppose, was one of the biggest disappointments in our lives. But we decided the guide dogs would help a lot of people, and the forces because we've been so happy in the forces. And I'm ki not kidding you, the fun and games I've had with Help for Hearers, the guide dog puppies, the children with cancer. I love it, absolutely love it. I got an answer only about six months, a year ago. Um, the guy that I used to go to in London said to me, Kath, do you know, we know why you couldn't have babies. So I said, go on, tell me then. So he said, it's the pancreas. I take over a hundred tablets every day to keep me going. I don't want a load of flowers bought for me. I don't want a, a fancy this, that and the other. I don't want a meal afterwards. Good God, they can go and get chips down the road. And I just want my ashes to go where I've spent a lot of hours, where I used to love being with Terry. He had a beautiful garden, honestly. Um, and where I had a lot of happy times. And it's just nice to know that we'll be together again. You know, if tomorrow's the day, tomorrow's the day. Um, I've had a good life. I've done a lot of wonderful things. I've met some amazing people. When you think of the beautiful things we've got to see, the places we can go, the people we can meet, aren't we lucky? We really are lucky and I love people and I love being with animals and it, it's just, aren't I the luckiest girl in the world? I think so. I think Kathy's message could be summed up in one sentence. We've got one life, live it to the full and seek joy in every day. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're able, would you please stand for the last post? The last post is a bugle or trumpet call that is played at funerals for people with a connection to the military. After the funeral, Kathy was cremated at the chapel. Her ashes were scattered in her garden beside the ashes of her husband, Terry.
to you. Well, that absolutely was perfect for her. So the main thing about a humanist funeral is that they are as unique as the individual who chooses. They are unique as the, the family that wants to respect the life and reflect upon the life of the, um, the person they've lost. And so there is no formula for a humanist ceremony other than we celebrate the life. We recognize it's a good life. I really would like to be remembered as somebody sensitive, caring, and loving. That's all. <laughs>